What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Daryl Dora, the Director of Player Development for Texas Tech Basketball. Daryl, how you doing, man? Man, I'm good, I'm good. How you been? Yeah, everything's been good, man. How about you? Man, I can't complain. Awesome, awesome. So we're here in Lubbock, Texas, Texas Tech Basketball. You guys have amazing facilities. It's been good, man. Over the years, we got some things done. Game Gym is really, really good. It's one of the best in the country. We just got a new practice facility at Wombo over here. We'll talk about it here in a little bit too. And we're definitely here to see Wombo. Describe Wombo for those who don't know. You guys have been here for a year, right, in Wombo? The Wombo opened in April. As soon as Coach got the job, it kind of opened up and it's uh, one of the best practice facilities in the country, man. Women's and men, both sides, everything you need. Even on visits and stuff, guys come in, they kind of get wowed by this because you know, you think of Lubbock, Texas, you don't really think that we kind of got stuff like that. but. They're pretty excited about it, man. It, it, it helps them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go check it out. Back when I was playing here, everything was at the arena. So now we have this little walk that we got to go through. But, you know, basically here we have women's and men's side. Everybody has their own stuff, their own space. Got offices up top, weight room, hot tubs, cryo machines, nutrition. We have lots of food areas you'll see as you go around here. Making sure our guys got whatever they need so they can be successful on the floor. So now we're here with Colin, the Associate Director of Equipment here at Texas Tech Basketball. Colin, what's going on, man? How much, man? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now we're in this, this spacious locker room, newly renovated, very clean and sleek. What are your favorite parts about this locker room? I love the way it looks. The door's closed. You can kind of hide clutter that the guys kind of have. It's sleek. We got the video boards up top, their name plates. Overall, I think it's just a, a really clean look. Yeah, yeah. Now you guys have set out some stuff for us. You guys seem to have an awesome Under Armour relationship. But before we get into that, let's look at one of these lockers. So we got Adonis's locker here. Really nice. The doors fold in. Plenty of space for shoes, hang loops, hanging rack, all that. We got a wireless charger down here, other chargers. And then the cool thing underneath their seat, each one is individually vented to the outside. So you know, their shoes start to stink, it just kind of flows some air through there, so it keeps them fresh. Everyone always says you feel good, you play good, right? I thought you guys got all of this in one season. Some of it's carryover, you know, a lot of guys latch onto one shoe and they, they fall in love with the shoe and they want to wear it as long as they possibly can. So we try to hang on to old shoes just in case that happens. Um, but a lot of these shoes are new this year. Under Armour's always coming out with updated versions, so they take good care of us. Now, I kind of want to go through with some of the players and you give me a quick little synopsis on them, apparel-wise. So you say Kevin McCullough, he's a sneakerhead of the group. What about Terrence Shannon? TJ, man, he likes what he likes. He gets stuff on his own. He likes to get custom shoes and everything like that. He's great to work with. He's one of my favorites. What about Bryson Williams? Bryson is also one of my favorites. He's just happy with anything he gets. He's size 17, so it's, it's tough to get him a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's got a big foot. Yeah, you need more storage space for a size 17. <laughs> what about KJ? KJ, he's great too. Super quiet, not picky at all. We order four or five different styles throughout the year and make sure that they all you know, have an option to test them out and wear them so they can find that shoe. He tries everything. He's really easy to work with. And last but not least, let's do uh, Malik. He likes what he likes for sure. He's always asking for the newest of the new. Again, I mean, I can say it about all these guys. It's a great group of guys to work with. Now let's get into jerseys really quickly. Yeah, so we have our standard white, our black, and our red, the standard set that we call it. And uh, when I first got here about five years ago, we only had four jerseys. So obviously success can help that, but we're always working with Under Armour on getting some alternates and throwbacks and that kind of thing. This year we got a new white alternate, no black in it at all, just classic tech, just white and red. Another alternate we got is the script red. We debuted this last year, so we're wearing it again this year. And then we get into our throwback stuff. These were uh, also debuted last year. It's probably one of my favorites of all time, just super clean. This is what Darvin Ham wore when he broke the backboard on that dunk. And then this year, no one's really seen this yet. This is uh, going back to the Daryl Dora days. Andre Emmett, throwback to that era. All right, D, this is a chill area, right? Yeah, man. So everything happens outside of the court. Our boys kind of just come in here, relax, kick it, man. We got two huge TVs for them. They watch games. They bring their PlayStations up here, get on the box, rest in here. 
kitchens are everywhere. It's a must that the guys get their food in, fuel the body. So we got kitchens and drinks and stuff everywhere. Pool table, ping pong. Man, one of our biggest things that we really love is the Pac-Man. We got the Miss Pac-Man, Galaxy. This is our film room too right here. We get in there a lot, try to be prepared for guys. You know what I'm saying? The guys spend a lot of time in there with Coach. We do a lot of, you know, motivational stuff in there and stuff like that, but they spend a lot of time in here. As you can see earlier, we had guys napping, hanging out, doing what they do. But uh, we'll go into the gym here in a minute too. Yeah, let's check it out. All right, D, my favorite part about the facility so far, the functionality of it. Like we just left the player lounge, the film room, the locker room, and we're here. There's a weight room, a training room. How do the players love that? You know, at the arena, it was kind of far weight room over here, over there. I think they, they made it to be where everything's functional, where guys can get around in a reasonable time. I mean, they love it, man. They're, they're in here all times of the night. This is our practice gym. We spent a lot of time in here. We just got in here a couple months ago. We got our pictures and stuff on the wall. National runner up in 2019, all of our tournament runs and stuff like that. But the guys love it, man. The guys really love the big screen too, man. That's their favorite. Coach likes to use it before practice is motivational, quick personnel if we're going to watch it, walk through it real quick, stuff like that. And the boys, when they get in here, you know, late night or doing a day, day off or stuff, they turn on the football games, basketball games, check them out. And man, you got a Bluetooth system that they hook their phones up to, shot tracker, man, where they track all their shots and stuff like that. So. It's been a big plus for us to have it out here at Tech, man. It's been great. Okay, Coach Darby, inside of the basketball specific weight room, right? Only right. basketball uses this. You've been in strength and conditioning for a long time. What is it about this weight room that is very functional for the players? It's functional because there's a lot of space, particularly two areas where we can do movement exercises in. It's set up where everything rolls out of the way. There's no platforms. You can stumble over. You know, we can slide, we can run, we can jump in here. Each rack is set up with elite form, which obviously is a way we can track our movements, track power outputs, put the guys' workouts in there as they progress through. Coach, who's the hardest worker on the team right now? Uh, the hardest worker is probably Bryson Williams, the transfer from uh, Fresno and UTEP. He's an older kid. He's been through a lot of wars. He understands what it's about and how important the weight room is to his performance. But he's got a lot of guys nipping at his heels. It's not a deal where he's head and shoulders above a low group. He's just a neck above a good group. One thing I'm noticing in this weight room is the basketball right over there and then also the basketball goal. What are the uses of both of those? For the basketball, I like to use this for grip strength. Obviously, this is hooked up to a uh, lat pull-down attachment. We talk about grabbing a rebound and pulling it tight and the guys having to really grip the ball to pull it into their chest. They can't obviously go as heavy as they can holding the bar, but you can put a lot of grip strength into that. The basketball goal is up in here. What I do is every time I test their verticals, I take their max jump and I move their hand up. You know, it's easy to say a guy has a 45-inch vertical or a 38-inch vertical and one guy's 6'11 and one six. Five. This shows exactly how high their max height is. Now, another thing that I noticed about this weight room that I don't see in a lot of facilities, you guys incorporate the nutrition area inside of the weight room instead of it being in another location. Do you think that helps as far as just being able to move around? I think it, it, it's definitely a big asset for us here. Uh, we primarily work out in the morning. It's not always early, early morning, but you know, I like for the guys to get in and lift in the morning so they can still go eat lunch, have a little time for a nap or treatment or whatever, and then practice. When they come in the morning, we either have their hot breakfast ready for them in there, or they always have a full variety of what we call our fueling station snacks. Everything that they could need snack-wise, post-workout, wise, you know, we can make them there. We've got a nutritionist that's on full time. And so she's back there to make smoothies for them. What we do in this weight room, what we do on the floor, if they don't eat right and they don't sleep right, it doesn't work. For us to have these facilities and not put just as much into the nutrition side, you know, we'd be just chopping off our foot. Okay, Mike, you guys have some interesting elements in here that you don't see in a lot of college athletic programs. What are some of those? So this right here, this is a, a mild hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber here. I don't know of many programs in the country that have this on, on this level. And honestly, not every single uh, NBA team has one of these. So 
definitely lucky and blessed to have one of these deals and kind of helps give us an advantage over a lot of schools uh, that we go against as far as taking care of injuries and getting guys back on the court. Awesome, awesome. And then in this area, hydrotherapy. They absolutely love to come in on the left side here. The left side is a hot tub. So that they're always in there, but the right side here is a cold tub, gets down to about 48, 50 degrees. Believe it or not, we do have a few guys that are constantly in there every day. I don't have to ask them or, or, or poke and prod them to get in there. They get in there on their own. But everybody loves the hot tub, of course, though. It's, it's a fun deal. A lot of the guys mostly will get into the hot tub right before practice, about 30 minutes or so before practice. Post-practice, sometimes we'll do a contrast where it's hot and cold, but for the most part, the guys will get in the cold tub afterwards. So another great addition that we have in this facility here is we have two anti-gravity treadmills, a boost treadmills actually, and it allows us to get anybody with an ankle injury, hip, or any kind of lower body injury, knee or anything like that, we can get them in, in this device here, zip them up, and as we all know, as the quicker you can get a body part moving, get blood flow to that area, it helps expedite the healing process and getting them back onto the court, which is the main goal always. So I can zip them up in here. I can drop their body weight down to about 20% if I wanted to. It's almost like they're walking or running on a cloud, on a cloud of air, something like that. Now I'm noticing in a lot of facilities around the nation, cryotherapy is becoming huge. Very much so. Do the players love this? They don't love it, but it's, it's kind of like a, a necessary evil. Yeah. You know, and I remind the guys, I'm like, look, you're only in there three minutes. Yeah. I try not to tell them how low it gets on level three. It gets to a negative 198 on level three. Um, so I leave that part out, but I'm like, look, you're in there for three minutes. It's a lot quicker to get in the cold tub, you know, but it's only three minutes. All right, D, where are we now? Man, we're at the second floor of the Warmo. This is basically what we eat at. This is where we split rooms with the women. So we come in here, have meals, have meetings and stuff like that. And then majority is just offices for both sides, the men and the women's side. But players stay away from up here, you know, we got to bribe them. Coach has big candy deals in his office, but this is just mostly the office side where we hang out and get work done. Shout out to our partners at The Game Day. The Game Day is a new sports and sports betting media company built for today's fan. Check out the link in our bio and on our community tab for all their great content and head to their website at thegameday.com for the latest sportsbook promos, betting tips, expert picks, and sportsbook app reviews.